Hello, and thanks for joining us for this edition of the News Feed. I'm Sarah Kundiv. As the weather continues to get colder, some of us may be experiencing some car troubles. There are simple guidelines and things to remember to make sure your car is prepared. News Feed reporter Alessandra Young has some advice on how to winterize your car. If you're anything like me, you don't know the first thing about winterizing your car. What most people don't actually know is that there's a checklist that you have to follow before your car is ready to go. Matt McMurray, owner of Campus Automotive, says that the biggest problem with cars in the wintertime is no start conditions. The biggest thing that you can do is have your battery checked. You can check your battery and you can actually tell the condition of your battery before it goes bad. He also says that checking things like your fluids and coolant are good ideas, especially your wiper fluids, because the road salt can get on your windshield and in your wipers. If you don't have good windshield wipers, then they can actually cause all the road salt to smear, obscuring your vision. He also says that checking your tire pressure to make sure the pressure light isn't on is important. For some Virginia Tech students, like Jacob Vibruggi, this is the most important thing to do for your car in the winter. Usually I check to make sure my tires are good, always check the tire pressure to make sure that everything's worked out. It's also a good idea to keep some items in your car in case of car troubles. McMurray says items such as a good pair of gloves, a safety vest, water bottles, a blanket and flashlight are a necessity. Don't think about the, the items you need to repair the car. Think about what you need while you're waiting for somebody to come and help you. So if you follow this simple checklist and guidelines, such as making sure your tires have enough pressure and keeping tons of water in your car, then winter should be pretty ice ice baby. Reporting for the news feed, Alessandra Young. Winter is around the corner and Blacksburg Road Services are in full swing preparing their equipment and personnel to be ready for the first snow. Meteorologists predict that this will be a winter like no other. The Virginia Tech Parking and Transportation Services are planning ahead on how to keep everyone as safe as possible this year. Virginia Tech has a fleet of approximately 300 vehicles and an award-winning alternative transportation program that is ready to go if needed. The road services are doing all they can to ensure safety on the roads and around campus. You don't want 30,000 students and 10,000 faculty and staff driving around the area if they don't have to. The most important thing for everyone on campus to realize is to follow the procedures and guidelines when a snow and ice traffic emergency is declared. Generally, this occurs when the roads are significantly iced or when approximately three to four inches of snow has fallen. Just remember to stay calm and follow the instructions from the Virginia Tech Road Services. Students living in collegiate suites of Blacksburg, Virginia are experiencing several car break-ins this month, leaving all residents concerned for their vehicle safety. Newsfeed reporter Samantha Hamilton joins us with more. Samantha. Thanks, Sarah. Residents have been reporting missing items from their vehicles like spare cash, jewelry, and backpacks, causing panic throughout the community of who could fall victim next. Many residents of Collegiate Suites have been reporting cases of car break-ins. Thieves are targeting unlocked vehicles but are gaining access to locked cars using a flathead screwdriver. When thieves break into residents' cars, they tend to check popular hiding spots like the glove box and the center console. For valuables such as spare cash and jewelry, it's important residents remove these items with them upon exiting their vehicle to prevent a robbery before it happens. The crimes are occurring overnight with many victims unaware their car has been broken into until the following day. Victims say the break-ins have left them feeling vulnerable and unsafe leaving their vehicles in the parking lots. Now I just feel weird. I mean, like going to my car, it feels weird to know that someone has been in there like in my own personal space, touching my things. And even when I'm inside of my house, like I'm constantly looking out of the window, checking to make sure that no one's around and no one's gonna basically do the same thing and make me feel that vulnerable again. Collegiate staff are currently looking into the matter, hoping to find a way to resettle peace in the community. We always keep them informed if that were to happen. Um, Usually the police kind of tell you what to do in, in that circumstance because it's happened all over Blacksburg, not just, you know, one complex. If you want to protect your car and valuables from theft, take the first safety measure and always remember to lock your car after you get out. Reporting from the studio, I'm Samantha Hamilton. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Samantha. 
In other news, you may have heard a rumor that you can't get a tattoo on a football game day in Blacksburg. However, that's not quite the case. Shops are more than willing to tattoo anyone who comes in, but potential customers do have to meet a few requirements. For ancient art tattoo, one of those requirements is that a person cannot show any signs that they are intoxicated prior to getting tattooed. That may be how the rumor of no tattoos on game day began, since people often consume alcohol before and after attending football games. Sean Stahl, manager of Ancient Art Tattoo, says this isn't to take away the fun of game day, but it's to keep everyone safe. You know, if you're 21 and up and you're an adult, you know, going and having like a drink or, you know, whatever before getting tattooed. But when you're to the point where we can tell you've had one too many, you know, we can't we can't tattoo you because it voids the, con or the, the disclosure form, the contract. This zero tolerance policy applies to all business hours, not just game day or the weekends. If anyone comes in to get a tattoo, they must be sober for legal and practical reasons. Ancient Art Tattoo says to keep that in mind before heading to the studio. Just ahead on the news feed, we'll take a look at how international students spend their holiday break. And we will see how Habitat for Humanity is bringing affordable housing to Blacksburg. That story and more after this break. Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. Welcome back to the news feed. I'm Sarah Cundiff. A farm in Buchanan has been very successful in helping veterans manage their PTSD. Their unique brand of equine therapy has proven to be mutually beneficial for their guests and their horses. News feed reporter Sydney Gagnon has more on this sto story. The 13 acres that New Freedom Farm sits on in Buchanan, Virginia might appear small, but its impact on the veteran community certainly isn't. By caring for horses, veterans who visit the farm are able to manage their PTSD and live more normal lives. Lois Fritz, a Navy veteran and former forensic nurse, was inspired to open the farm in 2016. A wild Mustang saved my life. I actually was suicidal and I wanted to die. I thought if I took my life, no one could manage her. And the power of her being a horse and being able to mirror my anxiety back to me really made me realize that I need to live in the presence and I wanted to share that presence with other people. Schedules and appointments do not play a part at the farm. Visitors are encouraged to stop by whenever they please, even just to hang out and enjoy the peace. New Freedom Farm isn't just for the veterans, however. All of the horses here were either rescued from neglectful situations or rounded up in the wild. It's a very unique situation where the veterans and the horses can help each other. Horses are highly in tune with human emotions and form strong bonds with people as a result. Working with the horse has actually made me recognize that um, I do actually suffer from some dark things that have occurred, but working with the horse has allowed me to also kind of get through them and past them and at least realize that they're there. By saving just one veteran at a time, New Freedom Farm is able to leave a lasting impact on the community. The horses that find their forever home at the farm are certainly grateful too. Reporting for the newsfeed, I'm Sydney Gagnon. Residents' quality of life is key to the town of Blacksburg's mission. Unfortunately, Blacksburg is in the midst of a housing crisis. A lack of affordable housing and high house prices means that organizations are gearing up to help. Newsfeed reporter Ali Lyric tells us more. A large chunk of a person's household income is spent on housing costs in the New River Valley. Habitat for Humanity is hoping to work with the town and alleviate some of this burden. 
The road may be closed for construction on the corner of Church Street and Hemlock Drive, but it will be open to new possibilities in the coming months. The seven new townhomes built by Habitat for Humanity provide affordable housing to those cost burdened by their current living situations. For many, this strain is caused by the high cost of living in Blacksburg and the need to commute in from surrounding towns. Kimberly Snyder, Habitat's Director of Outreach and Development, describes the kind of people that these houses serve. A traditional uh, Habitat home buyer is a, a first responder, police officer, fireman, teachers. Uh, small business owners, mm -hmm. um, and these people generally have to live in the in distant communities, also many times outside of Montgomery County. Habitat is not the only group focused on a solution. Vice Mayor Susan Anderson explains how working with Virginia Tech to revitalize homes near campus may be an affordable option. The foundation could provide low interest and no interest loans to do those upgrades so that possibly then you could be a, a new faculty member and actually be able to walk to work. Although a housing crisis may be Blacksburg's current reality, players in the community are determined to find a resolution. Reporting for the Newsfeed, I'm Allie Larrick. As Blacksburg prepares for the holiday transitions, there are many areas of downtown that are involved with the process. If you normally run through downtown Blacksburg Incorporated, there are many decorations that are distributed throughout Main Street and the rest of Blacksburg. Whether it be wrapping the lamppost with ribbons or simply having signs and windows downtown, it is important to get the town involved in the holiday spirit. Downtown businesses are the key to keeping the town prepared for the holiday season. So downtown Blacksburg Inc. actually um, puts out a call to the businesses and to the nonprofits of the area that are members and they ask them for um, if they'd like to put up a Christmas tree, they can decorate it however they want um, and so it's great to get the businesses involved. While the majority of the decoration process is done internally throughout local businesses, downtown Blacksburg Incorporated also contributes to the atmosphere while putting up ribbons and decorating the tree off of Main Street. They also prepare for the Christmas parade on December 6th. Expect preparations for the holidays to ramp up in the upcoming weeks. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and students across campus are preparing to head home for the holiday. However, not everyone will be leaving town come late November. Virginia Tech's international students have different plans on how they will spend their week off. Thanksgiving is not an international holiday. This leaves almost 4,000 students with a week off and now no holiday to celebrate. To help accommodate the surplus of students, Virginia Tech's housing implemented a policy last year to make all dorms a 10-month lease, allowing anyone to sign up if they wanted to stay on campus. Various dining halls like Hokey Grill, ABP, and DX will also be open throughout the week. However, not everyone finds Blacksburg to be the most exciting place to spend their break. Uh, well, I have a boyfriend here, so I'm flying over to Arizona, uh, Goodyear, Arizona. So his family invited me to come over there, and yeah, I'm really excited what it's all about. So with your significant other or going to visit a friend somewhere else in the country, Thanksgiving break is something students try to take advantage of. That will wrap up this edition of the News Feed. If you have a story or idea for the News Feed, let us know by sending us an email at thenewsfeednrv at gmail.com. And as always, you can connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah Cutting.